Surrender now! We've got you surrounded! You are the leader here, aren't you? You know, I knew it was a bit weird that for the past couple days, Chixia would immediately call me the second I logged into the game. Of course I never pick up. Not because I have anything against Chixia. I just assumed she was trying to bait me into doing some quest. Turns out her calling you like a girl who's been ghosted is how Yinlin's quests start. So I may have skipped her dialogue by accident. But trust me, if Yinlin's quest is any indication of what was said by her, we didn't miss anything. Yuan, Yuan! So, following the leads given to us by Chixia, we ran into a strange guy named Li Rong. Li Rong is with a little girl named Yuan Yuan. Despite the game's attempt at changing her name to Wan Wan, I am fairly certain it's Yuan Yuan. Li Rong is acting weird. So, like the good Samaritans we are, we intervene. Judging by the words spoken by Yuan Yuan, it seems that Li Rong is her father. He just had a little too much soul glad last night. Yinlin shows up and managed to defuse the situation with Li Rong. She appears to know Li Rong and the girl. So we have absolutely no reason to get into any type of conflict with her. All she has to do now is explain to us how Li Rong is the girl's father, which we can confirm since we heard her call him dad. And he was only acting strange because of overclocking. As resonators ourselves, that would have been enough proof to at least know the girl would be in good hands, and we could go back to our echo farming. But guess what this dumb bitch decided to do? She just randomly attacked us even though we showed no attention in preventing her from taking the girl. Right about here is when I knew this was about to be an hour of my life, I wouldn't be able to get back. But for just a brief moment, there was a small glimmer of hope for the quest. You see, after hearing the pointless commotions caused by Yinlin, two patrollers started to approach our location. At this point, Yinlin being a harding criminal starts sweating bricks and ask us to do as she says to avoid raising the guard's suspicions. But as Zhangzhou savior, we respectfully declined because even if we got detained, we would walk the second they find out who we are. But this sleazy, good for nothing, two-faced call center scamming, backstabbing, politician at a fundraiser, actually try to frame poor Rover as a kidnapper. Anyway, the following scene is what could have made this quest an absolute banger had they not squandered it. Watch closely and see if you can pick up where they dropped the ball. You there. We heard some commotion coming from this area. What's going on? Nothing, officer. We were just hanging out. Really? Then what was that loud banging and shouting? Oh, this girl just tripped over. Poor thing nearly cried her eyes out. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. Is that so? Then what did you do after that? It seems she can't find her father. We were just trying to help. Right, Rover? I see. So they're just being kind. I don't have other questions. You can... Leave the girl to us. We'll help find her father. Thanks, but we've got this. Little one seems quite shy. She's just warming up to us. Wouldn't want to bother you further. Don't worry. You're not bothering us. It's our job to help civilians in need. Trust me, I understand how tedious a patroller's job can get. That's why I want to help. My name's Yinglin. I'm also a patroller. Here's my ID. Oh, a fellow patrol- You sure this is real? Never seen her around. You think I can't tell a fake ID when I see it? Shut your mouth. No reason you would have seen me. I don't work here. Just visiting Jinjo on vacation. Ah, makes sense. Then we'll leave the girl to you. Thank you for your help. So did you see it? When I first saw this scene, I legit thought there were some serious misdirection at play here. When the senior patroller insist on taking the girl, I immediately became suspicious of her. Her facial expression and the firmness of her voice further fueled my suspicions so when Yinlin revealed she too was a patroller and hand her the ID, I knew the junior patroller would contest her claim, but senior patroller would not. Not because she believes Yinlin, but because she doesn't want her own ID to become the subject of scrutiny. The setup is literally perfect. Two rival undercover agents forced to validate each other's identity in order to maintain their covers. 
I was literally at the edge of my seat when I first saw Yinlin's character trailer. A scene like that is the exact scenario I imagined she'd be involved in. And it went nowhere. In fact, her trailer doesn't really reflect her story quest at all. This quest was pretty bad. You could probably cut 40% of it and still get a better story than the overcomplicated mess this was. I came out of it disliking Yinlin more, then Ruin Mei. Freaking Ruin Mei for crying out loud.